Have you ever thought about having better Z-Wave range? The solution is changing Z-Wave antenna of Vera edge. By disconnecting the origin Z-Wave antenna of Vera edge and connecting a more powerful one to it, Z-Wave range becomes better. The origin Z-Wave antenna of Vera edge, which is internal, is 2.5 dBi. If it is replaced by a 5 or 7 dBi one, Z-Wave range is increased. A warning, do not use an antenna more than 7 dBi. If you do so, your unit becomes defective. But how to replace the antenna? Watch this video till the end, you will find out. In order to replace the Z-Wave antenna of Vera Edge, a converter from UFL connector to RPSMA connector is needed. The internal antenna of Vera Edge is connected to the Vera Edge by a UFL connector. An antenna is needed. It can have wire or it can be without wire. A drill, a thermal varnish, and a screws are needed. Let's show you how to change antenna. By removing upper cover of Vera Edge, we can get access to the board of unit. It can be easily removed by, an, by a screw. Be careful not to break clamps. This antenna is Wi-Fi. This one is Z-Wave. I remove UFL connector. UFL to this connector must be installed in the unit. We need a hole. I drill here. Okay. The connector of Z-Wave antenna is near Z-Wave chip.
in order to prevent any short circuit, this connector must be isolated. I use a thermal varnish. Till now, we remove the upper cover of unit, disconnected UFL connector of internal antenna from the unit. We made a hole, installed converter, connect the new UFL connector. Now it's time to connect Wi-Fi antenna. The new antenna must be GSM and its frequency must be in domain of Z-Wave. As I mentioned at the beginning of video, we can have an antenna with wire like this. or we can use another antenna without wire like this one it's time to plug the unit and enjoy your Z-Wave smart home while your Z-Wave range has become better. Do not forget to subscribe my channel to watch more videos about Z-Wave.